Something that's easy to forget is that human beings die every day. Probably thousands, maybe millions, I don't know. But anyway, some people put themselves in these situations deliberately, and others just find themselves in them. And many people survive these incidents by mere millimetres, and that's what we'll be looking at today. How are these people still alive? And watch till the end where I'll explain this insane clip. I actually think I have to issue a quick warning. These clips are gnarly, bro. Uh, but I put it in a nice font there to take the edge off the warning at least. All right, so here we are with uh, a log from a log truck almost going to a windshield and knocking a guy out. If that wasn't enough for you, check out this gnarly clip. Wow, wow, we wow. The only reason I included this one is because of what the guy exclaims. Fuka, bullet! Wrong animal, mate. All right, so this is this is mad. The guy crashed into this, it all sets on fire. And the guy in the white t-shirt there, he's an ex-police, no, he's an off-duty police officer. He runs in, saves the guy's life because he was unconscious in the car, drags him out. I sped up the clip because we're all ADHD these days and no one can be asked to watch anything for longer than a few seconds. I certainly can't. Anyway, so he saves his own stuff from the car and then it really, the blaze really develops and it eventually culminates in an explosion. All right. <coughs> So, I'm going to be fast forwarding a lot of clips by the way. This guy's skating around, dicing with death. Check it out. Why would you skate into a road anyway, you burk? Maybe it's all part of the trick, who knows, but yeah, dramatic stuff, you could be dead. Oh, do you know what, I don't condone any of this by the way. This nutty stuff on the side of buildings. I actually saw a video and I was looking for these videos where a guy literally fell and died. These people actually die, like quite regularly as well. Think about their families and all that. Anyway, I don't want to get too deep. Oh, gets your heart in your gob, doesn't it, this? I can't believe people are sponsoring this kind of shit as well. All right, and here's another one. Just dramatic, to be honest with you. I like how his shoes match the steelwork, at least. Actually, his whole outfit. I've got strong, disgusting, instant coffee here and I'm ready to rumble with these videos, but blimey, they're not, they're not an easy watch. He's really coordinating with the whole scene here, actually. Why wouldn't you? If you're going to do something like this, you might as well think about every aspect of it. I hope he's thought about every aspect of it. Oh. Forget it, man. Well, that wasn't enough for you. Check this out. How old is he? 15? Is it all going to go wrong? Nah, I wouldn't upload that, would I? I wouldn't show that. Everyone, that's another thing. Everyone in all these videos are all okay, all right? This guy is mental, just walking along the street. Check it out. Big pane of glass falls down. Knocks his bit of cloth off his head. Could have sliced him in half if it had been a little bit, a few millimeters more to the right. Interesting music choice by me there. And this guy's like, oh, it's happened again to my window. Another similar thing here. I'm proud of that music there. I think that worked quite well. All right, and here you go. Another sort of falling thing. I'm following a bit of a theme here. He didn't put out signs, and that cyclist almost had it. All right, this guy just caught a mental fish with a spear or whatever. He's just admiring the fish in the water here, thinking that is a brilliant, lovely fish. I've just speared that, and I'm really proud of it. I'm going to take that home to my wife. My wife! And then he sees this bloody shark, and obviously the shark wants the fish, so it starts going for both of them. Doesn't know what to do. He just has to drop the fish, and he's trying to save the fish. The shark goes for him. I think human beings are just slightly too big for sharks. I think... Anyway, yeah, look, so the shark actually gets the fish. It was what he wanted, so he had to get away from it. And again, if that shark video wasn't not enough for you, check out this bad boy. Just doing a bit of rock jumping here. What do they call it? Base jumping? Don't know. Just jumping off, off a rock, really. His mate shouts shark. He's like, oh, crumpets. And he inadvertently gets some of the best shark footage I've seen for a long time. That isn't copyrighted, at least, you know? Or maybe it is. If this is uploaded and it's it's there, it's not copyrighted. I don't. I try and avoid that. Anyway. Yeah. 
I think human beings, with their legs knocking about and stuff, is just enough to scare off the shark. The shark does not want a heel to the eye. Would you? But yeah, basically, he's all fine. He escapes unscathed. This guy is literally doing this on the edge of a cliff. So close. You don't realise how close this is until I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut to a shot of the cliff. Imagine. All right, so oh, change that music. This spooky scene. Yeah, this guy. I think he just committed suicide. Oh, he tried to commit suicide. Basically, everyone's like, "Stop, train!" Guy jumps off here and just saves the day. Imagine. Horrible. No, another train theme thing here. That, that wasn't even a deliberate cut, but the lynx are flying today, as is her hair in the wind. Yeah, that's not a, that's not a nice scene. That's a very nervous laughter there, isn't it? That could have been a death video. All right, so this building collapses, and a big rock basically flies out of nowhere and almost whacks the guy in the head. Yeah, it could have killed him, all right? Let's say it could have done. I reckon it could have done. That. I should have put this train video with the other one. Oh well, you have to deal with it. So this woman here is trying to climb under. She's like, yeah, it's fine, man. Barriers are closed and it's fine. It doesn't mean anything, you know. But no one tells her. And uh, she has to work it out for herself. She has to learn lessons the hard way. Certainly the case for me. Alright, so this guy just found something thrown onto the pitch by a fan. Just thought, I'll lob that over there. Just get that rock away from it. And it turned out to be a grenade. Imagine if he'd hold, held on to it a little bit longer, it could have blown him up. The referee's like a red card. Alright, these two are having an argument. She just pushes her mate there. Looks like the wheel went over her head, but honestly it didn't. You know, she's fine. That's why I never shove someone, man. It's out of order. Alright, this guy using a zebra crossing as normal. You can't trust other drivers, man. You've got to wear a helmet. Alright, another mental driver here. Alright, check this out. And you know what, you probably didn't even notice, but right, I'll play it again, then I'll zoom in. Right, so three cars get totaled here. That lady there, obviously, but look at what she's holding. A baby! All right, this guy's on a motorbike, more car stuff here. Until some Carraro, Camara, I can't remember what the car's called. Some kind of car does that. He manages to grab on to the exhaust pipe of this car, the underbelly, and it sort of brings him to safety and he just goes down and collapses onto the grass as you would after an experience like that. This is mental, right? This is a big hole in the ground that just happened. I don't know what the hell. I mean, I'm sorry I don't have more information. I'm just a bit too lazy to be honest with you. But look, it's a video. It's pretty shocking. And luckily there was no one on that bit of street, miraculously. So there you go. See you later.